Hi guys, welcome to Limitless Kids Church. I am super excited that you guys are here for another awesome week of Kids Church. Who's excited for this week? I sure am. So this week we actually have something a little bit different, a little bit more special for you guys. This week, the Sunday is actually called Palm Sunday. It's called Palm Sunday because of <laughs> Because of when Jesus went to go and enter the town and they lay palms down while he was riding in on a donkey. And this week, we're switching it up a little bit. And we have a really fun little episode to do. We're going to go on an adventuring episode with Nick and I. And I'm super excited for you guys to join. So come on, let's go. Hi guys. Oh my gosh. I can't believe that I almost forgot the most important part of adventuring. We need to make a map. So, what do you need to make a map? I know. You guys need some paper, and you're going to go ahead and want your crayons and markers. So you guys have 60 seconds to go get paper and crayons. Ready, set, go. your crayons and your paper and now you guys I want I have a quick challenge for you of 60 seconds to draw me your best treasure map three two one start Oh, this is a treasure map. Oh, you know what this reminds me of? Like the one that God gave us. What's that, Nick? It's just like the Bible. Here. Oh, okay. So now that we have our treasure map and we have our Bible, we're ready for an adventure. I think it's that one. Oh my gosh, I think so too. Thank you, God. I don't want to follow God's map. But Nick, 
that's how we get to the right path. It's the right path. We have to follow it. It's clear. Meg, wait, where are you going? Meg! <laughs> you know, that makes me really sad that they decided to go off of God's path. That actually reminds me of a story in the Bible. It's about the Israelites. When they would constantly leave God's path and they decided to take their own path. You know, God gave them a promised land and their like, own personal treasure to look for. And they decided that they wanted to take their own path and they wandered for 40 years. But you know what? Let's pray that Nick will come back. All right, ready? Everyone bow their heads and close their eyes. Dear Lord Jesus, I pray that Nick comes back to you and chooses the right path again. In Jesus' name, amen. Man, I really hope Nick starts coming back soon because I can't finish this adventure without him. Oh my goodness, Nick, you're back. Man, I need not go off the path. I need to follow God's path because look at what a mess I am. See, this is a really important lesson I think right now. Sometimes we choose to go off on our own path, but you know, God's path is always right and clear for us. And we should try to open up our listening ears and listen to him. It's okay, Nick. I forgive you. Look at all these beautiful flowers, Nick. Let's pick some to make a bouquet for mom later. Hey guys, so so far we've had a pretty crazy adventure. We still have a pretty far ways to go. But I want to take a moment and sit down with this beautiful view and tell you guys a little bit about something. So earlier in the video, I told you that this Sunday is a very special Sunday. This Sunday we call Palm Sunday. And in the Bible, there's actually a verse that describes the events of what happened in Palm Sunday. And I'm just going to read a short passage to you about that. So in the book of Matthew, verse, chapter 21, verses 7 through 11, it says, They brought the donkey and the colt, placed their cloaks on them, and Jesus sat on them. A very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road, while others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. The crowds that went ahead of them, of him, and those that followed shouted, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. When Jesus entered Jerusalem, the whole city was stirred and asked, Who is this? The crowds answered, This is Jesus, the prophet from Nazareth in Galilee. This is a very special Sunday because this is the Sunday before Jesus died on the cross and was raised back to life again. This Sunday uh, is a very big momentum because it shows God is about to give the ultimate sacrifice for his love for us because God wants a relationship with us. So come on guys, let's go continue this adventure. Oh, I'm too exhausted to continue, Nick. No, me, it was good enough. We've gone this far. We just went up the hill and we took him on a journey and everything. Let's keep on going. You can do it. But it's so far. And the sun is so hot. And I have no more water. Then we'll get it after. But you're just gonna be even more exhausted if you just lay it. But Meg, it's too far. Look at how far we have to go. Okay, kids, let's cheer on Megan. Woo! Come on, Megan, let's get up. Woo! Woo! Oh. Yeah! <laughs> okay, guys, I think we're almost there. I think we're almost at X marks the spot. You know, Nick, you know what I think? What do you think, Megan? So, you know how, like, we got this dog as a treasure? Yeah. I think, you know, part part of the treasure from God's treasure map is that we get to have a relationship with him. I can totally agree with that. That is beautiful. I think that's the biggest treasure, is that's having a relationship with God so he could, so we could always talk to him and he could always listen, and we could always listen to him 
and just you know to have a good friend. It's just like a friendship. Yeah. With Dog and his best friend. Oh my goodness, guys. That was such an exhausting hike. I am so glad that I'm back home so I can finally relax and sit down. <laughs> so, during that hike, we had quite an adventure. There were so many different points that I mentioned and that Maddie mentioned, and I just thought we could like review them for a minute. So, the first point was, God has given us a map that he has created, and it's called the Bible, <laughs> right guys? So, it's really important that we dig deep in the word and that we're reading it so that we can know what God is like. The second point that we made is that if you're ever confused, you guys can ask God for directions. There was a moment in the video in our little adventure that Maddie and I, we didn't know which path to take, but then we prayed and God showed us the right path. That's so great and so amazing that he can do that for us. And then our third point was to follow God's map. So sometimes when we decide to go off on our own paths and do our own thing, we can get hurt. But if we decide to stick to God's path and his plan for our lives, we will not be hurt as we will not be hurt in different ways like we could if we went off the path. And then lastly, God wants a relationship with us. Like if you open your ears to his voice, he will always, if you're off the path, he will always bring you back. And if you're on the path, then he's going to lead you right where you need to go. So it was a fun time adventuring with you guys. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Bye. You guys, the craziest thing just happened to me. So I'm cleaning out the garage because all you can do in quarantine is clean and it's spring so it's spring cleaning and it's crazy but I was so excited to be cleaning today because I found this note while I was cleaning my garage let me show you guys it's on this little light switch it doesn't work anymore so I never used the light switch but there was this note I took it off and I already got it but I put it back just so I could show you guys what it says. Okay. If you found this, you must be the family that moved into my old house. I wanted to know a wanted you to know a little bit about me, so I left you a treasure hunt. God is number one in my life, so the first clue is my old Bible. I left it up in the hill, on in the tucked away in the corner. Let's go check it out, you guys. I knew that I had to do it, but I wanted you guys to come along with me. So, you wanna go? Let's go. So there's two corners of my backyard on the hill. So I'm walking up the first corner and just hoping that it'll be there. Oh! <gasps> Stop. Do you see that? I think that's it. Oh my god. No way! <sighs> you guys, I cannot believe we found the first clue already. I'm stoked. Okay. Obviously, we have to open it. Hopefully, the clue is in here somewhere. Oh, she left a highlighter in it. Oh, and a pen. Hmm. The hi highlighted page has one verse that's highlighted. It's in Ecclesiastes. It's Ecclesiastes 2, verse 5. It says, I made myself gardens and parks and planted them in all kinds of fruit trees. I don't really have a garden, so it wouldn't be in the garden. I do have fruit trees. I have orange trees right there. <gasps> Maybe it's there. Uh, let's go, you guys. Uh, I have a lot of fruit trees. Hmm. Where would it be 
Hmm. Is it? Ow! Ooh, that was sharp. Hmm. Not in there. Hmm. How about at the bottom of this fruit tree? <gasps> What's this? Do you think this is it? A little bottle? It's got a message inside. Hmm. You guys, I think this is it. I think this is it. All about Savannah. Was her name Savannah? Look, you guys. All about Savannah. I am seven years old. I have brown hair and green eyes. My birthday is on May 17th. I have two brothers and one sister. My favorite subject in school is art. These are a few of my favorite things. Blue is her favorite color. Pizza is her favorite food. Sharks, her favorite animal. Her favorite sport is tennis. Her favorite song is our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above. Uh, favorite movie, Kung Fu Panda. That's a good movie. Favorite book, the Bible. Game, Rubik's Cube. Oh, those are hard. She must be smart. We found the second clue. But it doesn't give us a way to get to the third clue. Except for this drawing. But I don't know what this drawing could be. <gasps> you know what? I actually do. This looks like the fence in my, to my backyard. I think I'm going to go check it out. Okay, so we've got our Bible. We've got our message in a bottle. What do you think we'll find next? As we come on over to my gate... Hmm, I don't know where it could be. Let me show you. Let me show you what it looks like. There's a lot of lizards back here. Here's my gate. Looks like the drawing. Hold on, there's the bricks and then there's the little gate. I don't know where it could be though. I wonder if it's buried. That would be hard to dig up something buried. Hmm. Everything else is kind of by the bottom of the tree stump, so let's check. Oh, stop! Are you joking? Are you joking, you guys? You guys. Oh my gosh. Oh, literally, this is so cool. It's a treasure box. It's a real treasure box. Oh, I can't wait to open it up. Oh my gosh. Look at it. Okay, you ready? I'm so nervous. What do you think is going to be in it? Oh. That's fun. Let's see. What have we got? We've got a tennis ball. Very cool. We've got a Rubik's Cube. Awesome. Awesome. We've got a CD with a cross on it. Can you see it? Our God is an awesome God. And Kung Fu Pin. You know what this is? Oh my gosh. If you were listening, you might remember. If you were listening, this was all her favorite things on the get to know you <gasps> it's got kung fu panda her favorite movie we've got our god is an awesome god her favorite song <gasps> and tennis her favorite sport rubik's cube her favorite game we've got <laughs> that's clever we've got a deck of cards with sharks on it because they're favorite animal is sharks and you can't put a shark in the air, duh. Oh, and look how pretty this is. What is this for? 
<gasps> Her favorite color is blue. I love it. That's so creative. And then we've got another piece of paper. Oh, she left me some of her artwork. I love it. Because her favorite subject is art. She left a great get to know you. And I could listen to her favorite things and listen to her favorite song. And the Bible was the first clue and her favorite book is the Bible and it helped me get to here to my treasure Wow Savannah is so creative that was so cool thanks you guys for joining along with me I hope you had so much fun I know I did this was such a good day yeah thank you guys bye Hi guys, welcome back. I'm so glad you guys are here. I hope you had a great way of listening to the Pathways lesson that Megan taught. We are going to have a great day today. Let's get started. Today, I'm going to build a fort with my brother and sister Cassia and Kate. Let's get started. Let's do this! Yeah! <laughs> okay, so we are building a fort. First thing you need are the chairs. So we're going to put one chair over here. Look at our fort, isn't it so nice? Hey guys, the last and final thing you need is stuffed animals! But um Yay! Take them out! Yay everywhere! Yeah. Woo Yahoo! Woo this is how a, oh, you should yeah. make a fort. You have to decorate with stuffed animals, stuffed animals and blankets. Yeah. And chairs. Hi guys, welcome to our fort. I don't know if you can see me because it's really dark in here. <laughs> but I hope you guys had a good time making a fort and you guys can play in it today and have a fun time in the fort. So, what I'm going to be telling you guys today is some more things to do while you're at home. Because for me, I've kind of run out of things to do when I'm at home. So, I've got to think of some fun and exciting ideas to do. The first thing we're doing is going to make a basket. We're going to have two baskets and we're going to put some points on it. Then we're going to get some balls. If you have any kind of balls, basketballs, tennis balls, ping pong balls, any kind, anything. And then you make a ramp and then you roll the balls into the hoops and you get points. And the idea of this, the reason why, that we're doing this is because if you don't have the ramp, you're going to miss the, the, the baskets. And you don't want to miss the baskets. Just like Megan was saying, is you have to have God be your pathway, lead your path, just like the Rams will help you get into the score. So, let's do this. Three, two, one, go. Love we love you guys. guys! Hi guys, we made a box of balls. We didn't order balls, we just got whatever balls we can't find in our house, and we put them in a box. First we have a tennis ball. Second thing we have is a tennis ball. <laughs> Third thing we have is a white ball. I don't know what it is, but it's, it's a, a bouncy ball. Third thing we have is a Tree. inflatable basketball. Mine. This one is a red spiky ball. Whoa. Last one is a little ping pong. I don't know if you can see it, but it's a little ping pong. And the reason we have this many balls is because you guys might not have this tennis ball, or you guys might not have this white ball, or this red ball, or this basketball. Or a ping pong ball. But I want you guys to be able to find any kind of balls you have in your house so that you can play this game. So let's put the balls aside. The first thing we're going to do is make a ramp. Also, go find boxes around your house so you can make some scores and baskets. Next thing, we have scissors. Now, 
what Cassie was saying is you guys might need a parent there. So yeah. go get your parent and get some scissors to cut some cardboard. So I'm going to start cutting now. Yeah, we're making the ramp. In, we have in this, it. and all we're going to do is just put that right there. And now we have sort of a ramp. Yeah. You see that? So we don't need this. Okay, so now we have a ramp. Look. It rolls down like a ramp. Ready? So ne next thing we do, okay, stop. Next thing we do, we're going to get the the baskets the, the, where you score. So we're going to set them up right here. And right here. And right here. They got some balls and they're going to try to get some points. Hold on. The, the, the blue basket is going to be worth 10 points. The second basket, which is a clear one, is going to be worth 20 points. And the black basket is going to be worth 30 points. So let's start. Cassia first. Ready? Go. Ah! Go again, Cass. With the ping pong ball. Ah, nothing. Okay, okay your turn. Oh, so close. Cassia? Cassia has 20 points. Let's get the balls and play again. So ready? Cade, go. Oh, Cade, go. Cassia, go. Cassia has 40 points. Cade, go. Oh. Cassia has 60 points. Hi, guys. Welcome back. We are outside right now getting some good sun in and getting some nice breeze in our bodies. So, right now, we had, so today we had a lot of fun have listened to the lesson, building the craft with Megan, then going on a treasure hunt with Mara, and then with us, we made a fort, we made the baskets where you shoot, and right now, we are outside. What we're gonna do outside is we're gonna get some flowers, then we're gonna go give them to your mom. Because your mom, your moms have been doing so much because they have to take care of the kids, do school with you guys, make food for you guys. So they and they, so they sacrifice a lot for you. So I want you guys to go get some flowers and give them to your mom. Let's get let's do it. She's gonna go pick up some flowers now for her mom. Some pre flicked flowers. I mean pre picked flowers, my bad. Okay, so she's good. Now she has a whole bundle of flowers, and we're gonna go give them to our mom. Let's do it, Kathy. Thanks for everything you did for us. I love you. I love you. Thanks for everything you did for us. I love you. Thanks for everything you did for us. I love you. Thank you. Thank you guys so much for joining us this week. We love you guys, and I cannot wait for next week. Have a great week this week.